Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sensations. We're doing. <coughs> We're doing today. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Damn. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's something caught in my throat there for a moment. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so we're going to be doing sensations today, as I said. Um, we're starting, we're, I think we're starting on the uh, gluttony route. What I remember, it's been a while. Okay, the game's here. <clears throat> what? What do you mean you failed to start? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> There we go. Hopefully we'll get it going here. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Gotta do something. Select Gluttony, and the watch immediately homes in on where he is. It says he's at a Chinese food buffet. I guess that's not really surprising. Alright, let me get my keyboard out here and get So.
<clears throat> All right, let's get started here. His name's John Anderson. He looks like a pretty cheerful guy. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant and see if I can catch him on the exits. I walk down the Vegas Strip, away from the high-end casinos, towards the old end of town. The farther I go, the older and more run down the buildings and casinos become. <clears throat> Trash and cigarettes carpet the ground here. Several people walk around. They seem to have no place to be. This definitely isn't a tourist area. I spot the grand shine of buffet as I walk. It's a standalone building crowded between a strip mall. I decide to sit on a bench and wait for a tall man to exit, matching the appearance of the small image on my phone. After 30 minutes of waiting and no movement on my watch, I decide to go in. I'm not hungry, but I can at least see what he's doing there and prepare to talk to him. I walk inside and allow my eyes to adjust from the sunlight to the dim interior lighting. The interior is decorated in typical Chinese buffet style. The majority of the restaurant is empty, except for one table in the back that has a mountain of dirty dishes on it. A tall, muscular guy that looks exactly like the image on my phone. I found John Anderson, Lucifer's current deadly sin of gluttony. I glance around. The employees of the restaurant look depressed and the staff peer out of gluttony with apprehension. He must be a regular. I think I should go talk to him, but maybe that's too forward. Maybe he'll be annoyed that someone interrupted his eating? <clears throat> okay, so do we walk over and talk to him, or do we wait till he's finished? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with A. I mean, I don't know if he'll be annoyed or not, you know. So. I decide to walk over to him, and he notices me, but simply looks at me quizzically while continuing to devour a plate of crab legs. Well, that's, that guy has a blue arrow, so that's good. As long as we get a blue arrow. You don't want a red arrow. Get a red arrow, that could lead us down a bad path to getting us dragged that back down the hill so we don't want that <clears throat> take some water here smooth. 
I love the honesty. Honestly. I think that this world has gotten sort of touched with new tech and that social media crap. I can appreciate when someone talks in real life. <clears throat> So, is that a yes? Hmm, hmm. I'm interested, but I gotta tell ya, I maintain a very active lifestyle. I'm just about to go hit up the gym after I finish out the last of these Rangoons. I love Rangoons. Wanna come to the gym with me? It could be a test date. That sounds good to me. Mind if I sit while you finish? Please do. I sit down with Gluttony and witness an absolute marvel of consumption. Gluttony burns through six more plates before dabbing the corners of his mouth daintily. Before we head out, I'm sorry for being so rude. I don't even know your name. Mine's John. Mine's Kosuke. It's great to meet you. Wow, that's a super cool name. It's like from one of those Japanese cartoons. So awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Well, lunch was delicious, as always. I come here twice a week because it's all you can eat for four ninety nine. Can't beat that price. You're pretty cheap. <laughs> I guess not. You ready to hit the gym? You just read my mind. I've got a killer workout plan for the day. Let's get that. Alright, follow me. We exit the Chinese buffet. Gluttony starts jogging. I run to keep up with him. Hey, uh, are we going to the gym? We sure are. It's only a couple of miles from here. Just follow me. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, so we're jogging there? Oh, boy. Gluttony sets off jogging at a brisk pace, and I suddenly have massive doubts about my ability to seduce him. I've never been the physical fitness type, after all. I have to give my best shot, though. What would Lucifer do if I failed? It does remind me that I do need to exercise more, that's for sure. Need to get into a gym for real. <clears throat> we jump past and run down abandoned strip malls through a couple of shady looking alleyways. Gluttony doesn't appear to be bothered at all, so I guess I'm not bothered by the area either. It probably helps that he's tall, muscular. Probably has a massive dick, too. Being lost gives you intrusive thoughts. <coughs> By the time we arrive at a gym called Planet Swole, I'm gasping for breath. Gluttony doesn't seem like it's anything out of the ordinary for him. Gluttony stops and runs slowly in place. You did great. We're here. I'm having a mega cramp after running right after all that salt intake. Let's go get hydrated before we continue. Uh, okay. Uh. I follow Gluttony inside. My legs feeling wobbly from the unexpected run. Thankfully, there's a water fountain close by. Gluttony goes up to the check-in counter while I desperately gulp down water. Hey, Kate. Me and my friend Kosuke checking in today. Just letting you know. Is it pizza day? I'm getting a little hungry. No, John. That's only once a week, and it was yesterday. Darn. Oh, well. Thanks, Kate. You're the best. Have a good workout, John. <coughs> I finished drinking and rejoined Gluttony. He looks excited to get started.
All right, bro. We can do one of two things to get started. We can head up a sauna. It's great to loosen your muscles before a workout. Or we can just help each other stretch and get straight to the workout. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's go to the sauna. Give us a chance to rest our muscles for a little bit. My man, that's how I like to start off too. You got any gym clothes? And I got a purple diamond. That's neutral. That's good. Hmm. No, unfortunately. That's all right. I got some extra stuff here. You might have to tie the waistband tight, but the tank top should be just fine. Don't worry, it's all clean. I'm not gonna give you something all musty. <laughs> all right, let's go get your stuff, and I'll change. Awesome, man. Follow me. We walked to the locker room, where a variety of people in various stages of undress mill around. Apparently, Planet Soul has a pool. The locker room smells like chlorine. A few guys in bathing suits walk past and give us a nod. Gluttony ignores everyone and walks purposefully to his locker. Here we are. This is my battle station. I keep some electrolyte replacements and extra gym clothes here just in case, you know? Seems like a good plan. What have you got for me to wear? Something spicy, perhaps? Well, that's going to be up to you. I'll let you pick what you want and give you a second to change. When you're ready, just stuff your other clothes in my locker and we'll hit the <coughs> Itches. All right, I'll be just a second. Hmm, what should I wear? Okay, so we got to pick something, all right. Either a t-shirt or a tank top. Uh, let's go to the tank top. I make my selections and stow my extra clothes in Gluttony's locker. I round the corner where Gluttony is waiting to give me privacy. Sitting inside, there's a couple people sitting inside. There's plenty of space for everyone to sit. Grab a towel if you want. I'm only staying there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Well, he's ripped with muscles. You, know, you would think he wouldn't be concerned how much he eats, but I guess he does exercise a lot. <clears throat> Without warning, Bloody takes off his clothes and places them on a clothing rack outside the sauna. I stare at his ass. Hey, I'm lost. I'm only a little shameless. Gluttony loops a towel over his shoulder and walks in. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be naked too, so I just take off my shirt, grab a towel, and follow Gluttony in. Gluttony sits down and places the towel over his lap. Before he does, I notice that he's got an absolutely enormous dick, even when it's soft. I file that information away for later and sit down next to him. Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna end it right there. That kind of snuck up on me. Sorry about that. Didn't realize that. And I'll be right back on YouTube with regular stuff. Uh, if you want, if you want to receive any uh, uncensored videos that I do make or record, uh, I record them to my uh, flash drive because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Uh, you need to become a uh, Patreon member either on my $9 tier or the $25 tier. Both of those are set up for adult content. <clears throat> and uh, once you become a member on either one of those, you can uh, receive any and all of uncensored videos that I, I record. Uh, just post your uh, email address. If anything else, just post your email address and I will send them to you via email. Unless there's just uh, certain videos that you want to receive, then you can post that in, co in the comments of uh, either one of those tiers. And I'll have to send them uh, two at a time because I have to send them through Google, Google Cloud. <laughs> and... They only let me send so many at a time, so, yeah. So, I'll be back.